Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect up your PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller to your Windows machine so you can use it on the RPCS3 emulator which is a PlayStation 3 emulator. I've got separate videos covering you know, Xbox controller, PS3 controller and all other stuff so feel free to check that out and how to connect different controllers on different emulators. Again, feel free to check that out. Also, in the description, if you haven't actually set up and got RPCSS3 working yet, you will, you will need to do that first. But I've got a video covering that, so there's a link to that in the description and the link for the Linux and the Windows version of that as well. Okay, so let me show you the controller. You should be seeing the controller right about now. I've just tilted the camera a bit. And DualShock 4 controller, regular wireless controller. So there's two options to actually connect this up. Option A, use a micro USB cable and literally plug it in. If I can get it plugged in. This will go yellow just to indicate it's charging. Strange. Oh yeah, then it turned yellow. Let me just try and replug this USB in. There we go. Okay. Don't know why that didn't work then, but so that is ready to go now. You can actually go into RPCS3, you know, skip to that part where I just show you the RPCS3 part, or you can connect it wirelessly. For that, you need Bluetooth, just a standard Bluetooth dongle, or the built in Bluetooth on your laptop or potentially desktop as well. And let me show you how to connect that up. I will be doing it via Bluetooth, but the wired connection is the same. Okay, so what you want to do is go to your Bluetooth settings. So make sure you've got you know Bluetooth and go to devices and printers. You can connect it that way, reason I'm not, just because if you're on an older version of Windows, you may still be or you might be used to using this, you know, interface. Okay, so you want to put this into sync mode. To do that, keep the share button and this PlayStation button pressed for about five seconds and this will start flashing. So one, two, three, four, five. Should be able to see it. Should be flashing. See bear on the table. So you can see the reflection of the actual table itself. Go to add a device and it will appear here as wireless controller. And sometimes it can take a few seconds to pick it up. Shield, that's not the one I got excited about. I was like, oh yeah, there we go. So just click next. And installing wireless controller. This light has now gone solid, but you know, just wait for this little process to fully complete. Uh, it shouldn't take long. If it takes longer on your machine, don't worry, because I've already connected it before. So any drivers that you have to install in the background, it's already will have most likely done them. So that's why it may take a little longer on your machine. Okay, you can close this down now. So if you ever want to remove it, just go here, remove device, or in devices and printers, and just right click and remove. Okay, that's, that's if you ever want to, you know, unsync it. Okay, now what you want to do is open up RPCS3 and wait for it to load, continue. Oh, that's a little too big. And now what you want to do is go to pads. So for this, the handlers, this probably said keyboard for you. So you want to click this drop down, select DualShock 4. DualShock 3, PS3, I'm going to have a separate video covering that connection. It's slightly different. So DualShock 4. And if I start moving the analog sticks, I want you to look down here. Let's move this over a bit. And I want you to look down here. So this is just detecting the left and right analog stick movement. As you can see, it's you know detecting it. And another cool thing that you can do. Okay, so another thing I want to mention. There's loads of things that I just want to you know mention. One, it automatically syncs some you know master controls. Great. If for a reason they're incorrect, they shouldn't be, just feel free to, you know, like click the R2 and then press it. And, you know, I've just pressed R1, so I could actually map it to something else. I could flip these around, I could swap this and this, I could swap these and these, swap this one and this. I, you know, you can do crazy stuff. Feel free to do whatever you want. And you can select the device, which device you are putting it on. Just one second.
Okay, yeah, and sorry about that. Just had to handle something. So devices, yeah, DualShock 4 pad. That's because there's only the one selected, but you can connect up to, you know, seven players and seven con different controllers. They have to be DualShock, do whatever you want. And yeah, so, okay, so we've got this one connected and you can also change the vibration. So if I put it down, you can hear it. That's small, that's large. <laughs> As you can see, that one moves, where this one moves. That's just a little bit, but I want these. And there's, there's like a switch version as well. So I'll leave that off because that was off by default. And you can change the device class if it is, you know, for something else or a different device, but this is standard. And you can also create a new profile, could name it, press OK. And that means you could have different mappings, have them flipped around, and you could go to a default one or a different mapping. Maybe for a particular game, you like to have a particular mapping. Okay, the other thing, last thing I want to mention here is this little thing here. So the LED is hard to see. So you should be able to see at that angle that it is, let me sort of focus, that it is blue. But what happens? I can change this to yellow. There we go. I can change it to pink. So you literally can change the to any shade you want. So let's do white. It's now a white color. I'm going to go back to restore default. So it's basically the default color. That's another cool thing that you can do. Make sure you click save. And that's it. That's how you connect up a PS4 controller to your Windows machine to use on the RPCS3 emulator. So the wired option, you would have just connected this via a wire then gone in the pad section on here and done anything that you needed to do or the wireless option which I showed you both. So let me just show you it working. I'm going to select Minecraft. No, a couple of people have asked before, why do I use Minecraft of all games over something else that probably a better game or, you know, better graphical that's exclusive. Reason is it's got, if you look, good compatibility is green. It also runs relatively well on my computer when I'm recording. Whereas other games that may run well when I'm not recording, don't run, let me turn the one down. Don't run so well when I'm recording. So this is just a great game to demonstrate. Now, as you can see, it's already working, but let me actually get into the game so you can see. This is just sort of like a demo of it that I installed. But you know, the principle is the same. No matter what game it is that you are playing, be good to go. You got a PS4 controller on your computer. You can go crazy and you know turn up the graphical settings on here, make it look smoother, and do all that really cool stuff. Okay, so just wait for you to get into the game. I'll just show you this now working, but you know that start, that select, these are the regular buttons, regular clicking and regular stuff. Okay. There you go. That's it. As you can see, it's working. Let me get the volume. Yep, but I don't know what else I can show you apart from that. Yep, that's it. So that is all working. Let me just close this game down. Yes, 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 that's fine. Click yes. And yeah, so that is how you. That was weird. Crash literally when I was closing it. And uh, let me shut that down. You can ignore that. Probably shouldn't happen to you, or at least it shouldn't be anything to do with the controller. That is. And okay, yeah, that, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And yeah, check out the other videos which cover you know setting me up on different platforms, different emulators, or with different controllers. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.